All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. More nukes top five. You guys seem to like the actual other one that I did. Who knows? I might. <laughs> this might actually just become a, an actual ghost reacting channel. Hopefully not, because these ghost videos are they're very scary. They are very scary, especially nukes top five. This guy, he is something different. If you guys have not, please subscribe to nukes top five. This guy, he does incredible work. I don't know where he gets these footage from, but wherever he gets them from, I guess from all over. <sighs> these this is some of the most hardcore proof most of them of paranormal activity I've ever seen but if you guys have not yet already like I said subscribe give them a follow a like all that jazz you guys know how to do it in the long intros I'm also gonna be eating so excuse me I am hungry your boy is hungry without further ado top five ghost videos so scary you'll weep hopefully I won't but you never know let's go all right, Nuke. Here we go. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Atami Clinic. Oh, Korean shit. paranormal enthusiasts Paku and DJ from the YouTube channel Boro Boro live in Japan and are big fans of Japanese urban legends oh, no, and ghost stories. Yokai, For one of their videos, the duo sets out to investigate a known paranormal hotspot in Atami City, Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan. It's the abandoned old Silver Villa Atami Clinic. The hospital opened its doors in the mid-1980s and served as a long-term care facility for the elderly and terminally ill. The clinic closed in 2009 and has been left empty and abandoned ever since. During its operation, many patients passed away inside these walls, and some of their lost spirits are still said to roam the hallways at night. Friends Paku and DJ record as they head inside the old clinic to explore. Almost immediately, things start to get weird. Paco and DJ hear a strange sound coming from somewhere nearby. They're still near the exit, so they're not particularly alarmed just yet. They head even further inside, but then things take a chilling turn. Right, swear, man. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> freaks out as later he explains that he felt something touch the side of his ear. Then they both hear a loud thud and make a run for it. Eventually, they calm down and head back inside to continue exploring. Nope. That's when Paku spots something downright terrifying. Should've left. Should've left. Should have left. Paku first freezes up, then he takes a Polaroid photo, and then just makes a run for it. Back in the car, he shows his friend what he saw and captured on camera. figure can be seen at the edge of one of the hospital beds. Within only a split second, the dark figure just disappears. Paku takes a Polaroid photo, but nothing can be seen in the picture. So, did the friends capture the spirit of a patient who passed away inside the Atami clinic 
years ago? Let me know what you think. That could you can be watch local this entire crackhead. investigation over on the YouTube channel. That could Oral be Moral. local crackhead. That could be a squatter. <sighs> Meanwhile, on TikTok. More than 150 years old, the Anson Call House is known for its ghost stories. A family that lived here for close to 20 years says there's no question this place was haunted. On Halloween night, Paranormal Investigation Team Paranosis hosts a live event on their TikTok page as they investigate the allegedly haunted Anson Call House in Bountiful, Utah. The historic home was built in 1859 and was the home of Mormon pioneer Anson Call and his five wives. It is said that Anson was a Five cruel months? man and would lock his wives in the basement if they did not obey him. He eventually passed away inside the home. 84 years later, it is said that Ted Bundy kidnapped and held a woman in the Anson Call home before taking her life. Lead investigator Bennett Rain and her team are broadcasting live outside the house when suddenly they all see something absolutely terrifying. What? There's like a knock on the sound of the guy. Knock on the window or something. I'm done. I can't. Freaking, that's where it was trying oh, to dr dude. What? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it is the freaking ceiling. Heard someone talking. There's some girls out in the front. Okay, that's the freaking ceiling. Freaking. I don't... I don't know. What? What? There was a thing, like, smashing up against the glass. Uh, was that in the front... Was that the front of the freaking house? What was that? The window. It's coming from inside. It hit the... So I can't see anything. That's been happening the whole time. Yeah. Who's been banging on the window and the door? We got it on video too. Okay. I think I'm done. I need to get. What the hell? Is that gonna break the? Like what? Do, I can't. I think. That, okay, Whoa. that's the freaking. I'm done. Okay. We gotta go in. You're gonna go in? Yeah, let's go in. Why would you go oh, in when the freaking house is falling apart? The remains of a bed frame fly up towards the ceiling. The shocked investigators quickly head inside to investigate. Nah, bro, look at that. This is. Yeah, I kind of need like a little bit more. Where the banging coming from? The stone is for sure. sure we're lit. Yeah. That's what I saw flying around. I saw yeah. that in the window. Yeah, it was like clear Now this terrifying event was all captured live, and fans of the Paranosis team shared their recordings of the investigation on TikTok. What makes the footage even more compelling is that paranormal fan Ashley came along on the investigation, and she too captured chilling footage of the Anson Call home. There's the neighbor. There's the neighbor. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see stuff a lot? Like Not anything? really. I just hear things in my bedroom. Oh, that's crazy. Nah. No. Nah. No, nah. No, nah. No, nah. No, yeah. no. <laughs> if I live, like my bedroom is like right on this side, on this side right here. Yeah. Bro, I don't know how that kid sleeps. Oh. oh! I don't know how that kid sleeps anymore. <gasps> oh yeah. my god. Yeah, oh, Yeah, the neighbor came over and was like, Bro, I need like a national camera here. in here. 
they're like, someone's knocking on our, and I was like, no, like, I think it might be the vibration from this. The kid that came up to us, he lives next door, and he was saying that, um, he never sees anything, but he hears stuff all the time, and his window to his bedroom was right next to the house, and he said he hears stuff all the time, that's why he came out running. But they did say the neighbors on the right-hand side, like the opposite side of him, they always see women walking around upstairs where a lot of that banging was happening. So, no thanks. Now with so many witnesses to these paranormal events, it makes you wonder whether the Anton Call home might be truly haunted. And someone or something from the other side was banging on the doors and windows in an attempt to get out. But as always, I leave that to you to decide. Casey Dostert's TikTok page is completely devoted to sharing videos of his fishing and hunting trips in the Michigan outdoors, oh, which cool. makes this next singular spooky video on his TikTok even more bizarre. Casey explains that he saw an abandoned house in the woods a few times as a child, but he had never been able to find his way back there again later in life. That is, until recently. It's already dark when Casey and his friend Ashton drive up to take a look at the house. It did not go well. So, uh, so why would you take everybody night? back here, a oh, place I knew man. about when I was a kid. Haven't been able to find it since. So let me tell I you, something just gonna... it's an eerie place. I got to show everybody this now that Fuck I found it, it again. No, brought my bro. buddy Ashton with me. Oh, no, bro. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> but, uh, moon. I get a bad feeling every time I come in here. Why'd you have to come here on a full moon night? I don't know. Good man. <laughs> so we should be coming up on it here pretty quickly. Why can't they ever go in like the daytime? Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I'm telling you some bad stuff happened back here. Just gonna go to an abandoned house by himself at night. Sure, nothing is gonna go wrong. All right. hey, Casey. I gotta take Casey. Casey and show you this place. Casey. Yeah. Oh, he's with a friend. Look at this. Why is still, it fire swing? Like, why would you go at night, moving man? In this tree. Hi, Casey. <laughs> Probably the wind. We just drive by it. I really don't want to. Dude, this is. This is a eerie place, man. There's some bad stuff happened back here in the 70s. Some bad juju here. Yeah, the bad juju. Yeah. 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 yeah, hold on. Casey, go back. Go back. Huh? There was somebody standing in that window. Shut up. I seen something in the window, Casey. Bro, really? that's that's when you pull off. That's when you pull off. Hey, over here, actually on the side. Don't get out. This should be. Why would? Bro, you don't even know no. who's out there. Okay. Clear. There's somebody standing right here, or a shadow or something standing here. Dude, is that blood on that mattress? Alright, come on. Yeah. Wanna check it out? Got out the truck. No gun, no nothing. Saw someone standing here. Something could have easily took this man. <laughs> dude, go, 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 get out of here. Hurry up, dude. Oh, go, go. Someone can be seen standing in the window of the creepy old house. When they approach the building, a door slams shut and the friends just get out of there. Casey explains that some, quote, bad stuff happened in the house in the 1970s, but he doesn't elaborate on the story. So just what did the guys catch on camera? Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Lost Children. 
Paranormal investigators Kevin and Fabio from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto are back on another exploration at an allegedly haunted location in Mexico. This time they find themselves at an abandoned orphanage with a very dark and tragic past. Long ago, the priest and founder of the orphanage was accused of horribly abusing the children in his care. The priest was forced to leave and was never seen again. No one knows exactly what happened to the children. The large decaying structure is now the home of a family of friendly stray dogs. Before they begin their investigation, Kevin and Fabio give food and water to the cute pups, and then the dogs seem to follow them around as they explore. As the guys look through the rooms on the ground floor, Kevin and Fabio hear something unnerving. Investigators are shook as they hear an unexpected childlike voice call out from somewhere in the darkness. Kevin and Fabio have no idea where the sound could have come from and their anxiety begins to grow. As they continue searching through the creepy dark orphanage, they find a room on the second floor that immediately spikes their EMF meter. A walkie-talkie that Kevin has brought along suddenly picks up a bizarre, distorted signal. No, oh, man, that's scary. Without warning, Fabio suddenly hears a breath coming from right behind him. No mames. No mames. ¿Qué pedo? After the incredibly disturbing sounds, the two investigators decide to leave a static camera behind as they continue to explore the building. A little while later, the camera records something chilling. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sound like they're whispering. <sighs> Creepy childlike breathing can be heard very close to the static camera on the second floor. That's when Kevin and Fabio's radio begins to act up once again and they hear a loud, audible groan. But that's not all that they captured that night. Because, did you see it? No. What? What? The 
The small shadow-like figure of a child can be seen standing on the ground floor, seeming to watch them from the shadows. The two no. investigators have no idea that they're being watched, but start no. to get creeped out enough that they no. decide to leave. They grab their equipment and get out of there. So could it be that Kevin and Fabio captured the sad trap souls of the children of the orphanage? Or could this what? be something else? Something dark and sinister? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with English subtitles over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Viewer Holy videos. Crap. This next video was sent in by Danish Nuke Stop 5 viewer Daniel Hertz. In the video, his father Henrik explains how 40 years ago, his own father was recording a video on 8mm film during a fun family outing after they hiked into a deserted area, deep in the woods of Denmark. The clip from a film som min far har optaget, da vi var for 40 år siden, da vi var ude på tur i skoven. Later, when the family watches their 8mm home movie back, they spot something that they simply can't explain. Something downright creepy. A strange woman can be seen standing in the distance, simply watching the family as they walk through the woods. Hell? Henrik Hurt says that this woman was not there at the time of the recording. This is a sea. So plutsy so so står der en skikkelse inne i lidt inne i skoven. Og den person var der ikke da vi gik tur. Så spørgsmålet er, hvordan er det dukket op? Er det et spøgelse? So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. This next video was sent in to me by Nuke's Top 5 hmm. viewer, Alexia. Yeah, I don't in know her email, she says that early one morning, she and her husband were away at work, and no one else was home. But their CCTV camera captured something very strange happening to their cat, Kyo. Oh, oh, oh. Now, first off, let me make it clear that little Kyo was fine and not hurt. But it almost looks as if something we can't see throws poor Kyo into the air and he falls against the kitchen chair. Like some, when slowed down, random. it becomes clear that there's no way that the cat could have managed to leap into the air like this, belly up and back feet first. So could it be that something paranormal attacked poor Kyo? Let me know what you think about this creepy footage down in the comments. Mr. Spouter. Four years ago, a YouTube user calling himself Mr. Spouter posted two very strange videos to his YouTube channel before simply disappearing from YouTube. Mr. Spouter claimed that years ago some sort of paranormal presence had attached itself to him and would follow him as he moved from home to home. In the following footage, Mr. Spouter says that he was finally able to capture the activity on camera. Right, banging again. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's like something on the stairs. You can't hear it though. I can't. Yeah. It's weird. It's not next door. It's like... The f What the f What's happening? So every time I look, there's nothing there like it. On the stairs, quick, 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 Nothing there. It's time. Out. Right, what's happening? What's happening? Something banging then. Something went banging. I'm talking to myself. <clears throat> so should we just bang? Right. On these stairs. Dusty as f
gone there before. That's gotta be like the worst part, man. Like the going crazy part. Get out. Calm down, calm down, calm down. What the f is that? What's that? to the staircase a small bark figure can be seen just standing there but youtube user mr spouter doesn't even seem to notice when he films the staircase again later the unexplained apparition seems to have disappeared already freaked out mr spouter hears a strange sound coming from his wardrobe closet when he turns his camera to film he's shocked when a plastic bag on top of the wardrobe suddenly moves on its own now there is no way to know what happens next Mr. Spouter announced that he had moved out of the house, but he has never returned to his YouTube channel to give any further updates. For now, the creepy footage remains a mystery. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here, on Twitter here, Nuke, you done and again. over there. Hopefully, I'll see you again next week. Guys, that was a new top five video. So scary, you week. I don't know how Nuke does it, man. Holy shit. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I don't know how he does it. Nuke. Guys, if you guys enjoyed that, you already know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to see more of those videos, go subscribe to Nuke. <laughs> you will not regret it. I promise you, you won't. Take care. Bye-bye.